Hello everybody. Um, unusual setup. I am in my bedroom. It's 11 o'clock at night, or it's actually 11.30 at night. I'm incredibly pregnant right now, and I'm not even halfway. So I'm tired, which is why it's been a couple days, but I am reacting to sushi and getting rid of my horde vlog. Also, we're at this weird angle because I left my tripod at my parents' house today. So, yeah, let's get right into it because um, the love of my life, Nicholas, gets off of work soon. So I gotta record this before I have to pick him up from work. Yeah. All right, let's get right into it. It's 13 minutes and 17 seconds. Hello, welcome to my vlog. Hey, girl. So today has been pretty good. I feel like I'm in a really good mood. Update on just like outpatient therapy um, with my psychologist. It's going like amazing. I have an appointment today. I actually have homework. But I have to do it. You know, her appointments have always gone amazing until they don't. Do you know what I mean? Like in Amberlynn Reed terms, they always go amazing until they're not amazing. And I'm like, okay. Also, I don't understand why she calls all this stuff homework, but I don't know anything about outpatient or inpatient things because I've never been in that situation. Put away my binder, but um, she's trying to teach me more about like cognitive behaviors and like, hold on, this is the binder where I keep some of my stuff that I do. So she's trying to teach me like this ABC situation to feel where it's an activating event and then a belief that happened with it, a consequence, and then I have to answer all my thoughts above and call them be realistic or helpful. I will say that since I am seeing her like do actual things, I'm gonna assume that she's actually working with somebody. I've just in my experience never had anything like this when it comes to my mental health but I wouldn't be surprised if that was out there because I have had to do stuff like this for my physical health, so. And then uh, what can I tell myself on such occasions in the future? So I had to do three of those last week, read them to her. Now she wants me to do one of those daily. Um, what other homeworks did she have? I have it written down. Um, there's a book she wants me to read. Um, and some other like personal things, but it's been going good. I literally am obsessed with my psychologist. Like I love her so much. I'm glad that's going well. I only wish that this would be going well for her. If I'm going to say within the first minute and 15 seconds, it does seem like this seems like a good positive update. You know, like I said, we're rooting for Amberlynn Reed to do much better on this channel. So we're going to give her praise where it seems appropriate. Which I have not tried that one yet. So let me try it. We'll do a little taste test moment. There's also a cucumber in that one. Does anybody else hear the between like her sentences? Because... I don't know if I've ever picked that up before, but I'm definitely picking it up now. But it's like setting me off inside. And avocado. That's some good stuff. And of course ginger. I love ginger. My girlfriend doesn't like ginger. It's the weirdest thing. Oh, one last thing, and then I'm gonna eat my sushi because it's so fresh, so fresh. Um, I have finished Just Get Home. And it was pretty good. So if you don't want a spoiler, skip ahead. Um, just a little bit. So not gonna lie, I love the fact that she's reading these books. And it makes me want to get back into reading books. So, I don't know. The two main characters, the foster teenager, she's not a kid by the way, so that's why I'm saying foster teenager. Um, she got the R word, it happened to her twice, and she got shot. But long story short, the um, the older lady in this is like an ad adopter, is what I'm gonna assume, because at the end of it, she came back for her. So there, it's a happy ending without actually telling you it's a happy ending. And the older lady's baby and ex-husband did survive the earthquake. And the only death that happened was um, the ladies. I say ladies, I say the name, I don't know why I do that. Uh, her name's Des Because that is really fucking weird. I'm pretty sure it definitely said names in this book. It didn't say lady, but maybe she's practicing on not saying people's names so she doesn't slip up and say Alex or Jade or anything like that, Francis, you know. I'm super excited to read this though because it says twisty, creepy, and absolutely absorbing. Twisty, creepy, absorbing, like, hello. So even though I'm only on page 41, I literally love it so far, so. Should I get one of the books that Amberlynn has and like read it and then come back to you guys in my own review? I'll do that. I'll fucking do it. I just need one person to tell me to do it and I will. Okay, you guys. Short moment? From a nine minute, no, a 10 minute nap. I was gonna say a nine minute, but I think it was 10. But. What's the difference? It's time to open this bag of toys. Torrid time. So we're gonna Torrid try one thing. Time. All right, let's Size see it. four dress. Oh, she's cute. Okay, okay. I like her. I'm gonna move you guys down. And let's try her on. Okay, so she fits. Okay. Really, really good. It's cute, but what's going Something on with the out of my alley with a black cardigan or even just like this. It looks fine just like that. 
It is layered, but it's super lightweight. They're both super thin. The sleeves are super cute, and I really like this part right here with a little bow. So honestly, I think overall, I'm gonna give this a nine or a 9.5. I really, really love this. So normally, when I retire clothing, give it to Goodwill, friends, I never show you guys exactly what I'm getting rid of. So I figured, I'm gonna do that today. Oh, this. This isn't a clothing item, but getting rid of this bath towel. Uh, this is a, a beautiful dress. It was like $130, but I don't know. I don't know if I see myself wearing something like this. Like, I love the color. Wait, do I want to keep this? <sighs> this, uh, <laughs> wow. I was actually able to put her on. A year ago, she wouldn't even go over my head. I am getting rid of this cardigan sweater. Never wore it. Like, it's cute, but I don't know if it's like, wait, do I want to keep this now too? She should like put these on like a Depop or something. I don't know. I just feel like she's gonna leave it outside of a place where you can donate stuff again, and it's not gonna be allowed. So welcome to education with Amber Lynn. So teacher Lynn has entered the chat, you know, it's just going to be great. So this is how I write. I do a lot of writing daily, constantly. And this is what it's done, unfortunately. I know what she's talking about. I actually had that in elementary school on this finger and it was bad. It was bad, but... It's not there anymore. So that's pretty cool. Sucks for her though, it looks painful as fuck. A writer's callus is an area of, ugh. She is copying me. I don't care what anyone says. She's copying me. Dead skin cells that form as a result of repeated friction against your finger. Also sometimes called a writer's bump or a nerd bump. They form because I write daily. It's unfortunate, but it's worth it because writing is very therapeutic to me. I got her because she was stuck in a storm and I heard her meowing at my apartment door. This was years ago. She was so young. She was actually too young to be separated from her mom. So I actually bottle fed her. Okay, you guys, so it's time to do a little time. update on my scratch art. These are the ones that you have already seen. Now, I'm gonna show you the new. Number one, number two, three, four. We also have five, six, and seven. Let me know which is your favorite down below. All right, well, that was fun. Um, it did though still feel like a bunch of like snapchat stories memories put together this was definitely just a filler she needed to just get some information out um and it needs to be over 10 minutes i guess but anyways thanks for watching my channel again thanks for 100 subscribers also that video that well my thank you video and my homage to amber lynn reed video is it's it's a little else you guys you guys will see it's not like a regular one of my videos so um yeah you guys have a great rest of your day sorry service industry and me all right bye guys